Hi, YouTubers! It's Phoenix Talon and Son. Phoenix? Yeah, mommy? Yeah, uh, Phoenix, Mommy, Daddy, and you. Yes, I go by Phoenix Talon, but my other kid is named Phoenix. How odd is that? Anyway, we're in a very black room in Space Engineers. If you've never played Space Engineers, it's a voxel-based space building game. So yeah! It's, yeah, it's a lot of fun, right? So, yeah. anyway... What are we doing in here? Well, we are going to go ahead and go in here and show off this. And you're saying, well, what is that? What that? That's a good question. What is that? It kind of looks like a clock. Yeah! Yeah, I think that's a clock. All right, so how does a clock work? Well, you have to set it first. So let's see, what time is it? It's about 10.08 in the morning. So what we're going to do is we're going to start setting this. Now I've got down below the different times are set can be set by the pistons. So we're not going to set the seconds, which are seven and eight. We're going to set the minutes. So uh, since it's 10:08, we'll start the clock at 10:09. So we'll set this up for nine. And there we go. We don't need to set anything there. We need to set the hour. Not that button. This button. There we go. Okay. So. We're all set for 10.09, and we're going to get started here in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There it goes. Okay. So now it is 10.09, and at 10.10, it'll go ahead and switch the minutes. And the way it works is totally mechanical. You've got a... Let's see if we can get this out here. We'll just go through... There we go. You've got this flywheel right here. And what it does is it goes ahead and passes across this sensor. And that sensor then is uh, telling you what the seconds are. All right, the seconds then are uh, sent to this piston, which increases uh, its distance, which is then sensed by the sensors up there that change the seconds. When it reaches the top, it comes back down and it activates the next one. When that one reaches its top end, it'll go ahead and uh, set off the next series of pistons. See how that works? All right. And then that is what changes the time up here. All right. It's pretty fun, you know. Um, it took me a little while to build this, a uh, couple of days. Uh, well, I say a couple of days, just work on a couple hours each day. Um, I had this idea. I really wanted a clock in Space Engineers, and so now I have one. And I didn't want it to just be a regular old digital clock because, you know, how boring. Uh, I wanted moving parts. I wanted, you know, mechanics. I wanted sounds. I wanted all that. So the timers that are back in the back here are just a way of grouping the lights together so that the digits uh, work and also for reading the sensors right here so that I can get everything to work properly. Uh, other than that, they don't actually keep any time. Uh, these timers that are here are part of, they're two, twofold. First one is to govern the 24-hour aspect of it because uh, otherwise you wouldn't be able to get the uh, the twenty three five nine five nine to go ahead and click over to zero zero, so I, I got that here and also I'm working on a way to um, set the clock uh, so it's not as uh, I don't know not buggy that's the wrong word for it but you know not as complicated I guess. Uh, also I'm using uh, a light mod uh, here. Let me go ahead and show that to you real quick. Uh, from this guy right here, Guldor, Gulder, I probably brutal your name. Anyway, uh, uh, I'll include a link to it. It's in the Steam Workshop uh, interior lighting. Uh, I like it. It works pretty well for what I'm doing. Uh, and you can see it. it. It has more of a digits to it. Now you say, okay, that's great. Um, but, you know, I want to change the color. Well, then what you can do is come over here to the... Uh, uh, color hours, where am I? All face lights, all zero lights, that's not what I was looking for. Well, you can do the all face lights and then change the uh, colon lights, so we'll... Here we do. We'll do it like that. Okay. 
So I've got all the, the digits here, hours and everything. So you can separate these out if you want to. You don't have to make them all the same color. But let's say I wanted like, you know, purple or something. Well, then I could change that and so now it's purple. And if I wanted to change the colon lights, you know, to like blue to kind of match, then there you go, see? So you could have purple and blue. All right, so I mean, you know, it's pretty easy, pretty easy to work with. Um, if you want to stop the clock, uh, you just go ahead and stop the flywheel. You want to restart it, you can go ahead and just restart the flywheel. It'll just keep going. Um, I have noticed one bug that's kind of inherent to the game is if you've got a lot going on in the game and um, you know it kind of lags out on you, sometimes it can stop the clock sensors from reading. So what you'll do is just come over, stop the flywheel real quick and restart it. It should kick start the sensors again. Um, also when you're setting the time, just be careful, be aware that uh, as you're setting the different digits, it will kick over into the next digit if you go past so like if you go past nine, it'll kick over into the next one. And same with the, the five. If you go past five, it'll kick over into the next one. Okay, I mean, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about when you get it. I'm working on a way to shut all that off. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to or not, you know, pursue it very much because I've got another build that I'm working on, uh, which is it just blows this one right out of the water. And um, I, I may not pursue this clock any further but if somebody gets an idea and says hey you know if you did this or uh, you know in my version of it I did this and it works pretty well then uh, you know I might adapt it into it so there you go and yeah I just switched over a minute so you know I'll keep this video short just kind of showing this uh, it's going to be on the Steam Workshop and I'll go ahead and include a link in the description as well as a link to the lighting mod that I'm using on it um, and then if you have questions or comments or any concerns or anything like that, uh, let me know. Uh, it's pretty easy to use as long as you don't go screwing around with too many things in there. <laughs> uh, otherwise, you might have to like re-import it or something. But it, it is a station, or technically a station platform, whatever you call it. So it's not a ship unless you turn it into a ship. And it'll be good you know, if you want to add it to your own station. You just go ahead and slap on some uh, you know, merge blocks onto the bottom here or something and then you can go ahead and uh, add it in and then like I said inside this little room there's not much it's pretty dark in here you got gravity is pretty much just for this floor you got an antenna in here and uh, power source that's all it runs off of it doesn't need any real power um, you see I'll just show you that real quick before I end the video reactor where are you reactor there you go. clock reactor see it's not using very much even at its most it's certainly not using a heck of a lot so you could easily keep this thing fueled in survival mode if you wanted to um, I think it would be survivor friendly as long as the uh, uh, pistons are not having problems or the rot rotor is not having any problems I kept it at a nice slow speed so that you can change the speed if you want like maybe you want time to go faster you can speed it up if you want time to go slower you can slow it down so you can have some fun with it all right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you for giving me your attention. If you like it, please like. Uh, if you have something to say, please comment. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.